Okay, this video is mainly about Dr. Greger. Dr. Greger did an interview over at Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine very recently. I think they just released it today. And one of the things he talked about, it was overall topic was uh, a healthy diet for aging. <clears throat> All right, but the reason why I'm showing it to you is he specifically said people are eating way too much protein and old people don't need to eat more protein to uh, maintain their muscle mass. They need to exercise more. And I'd agree with that, okay? And... There's some things that are funny about it. When he says reduce your protein, what Dr. Greger is talking about, about taking it down to the region of the recommended daily allowance, which is 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. The only reason why I think that's still too high is if you look at Dr. Kempner, he had his patients going down to about 0.3 grams per kilogram per day, which is in the range of what's called a very low protein diet when you start doing the studies on patients with kidney failure and they're trying to really reduce their dietary protein. And if you read the experts on reducing dietary protein, the kidney experts will tell you, once you get down to 0.3 grams per kilogram per day, you're probably going to need to supplement with essential amino acids or keto acid analogs. But keto acid analog is the, the keto version of a protein, an amino acid, whereby the body's able to add a nitrogen to it. So you can get it into the body as a keto analog and it gets converted into an amino acid. That way you can give the body protein equivalents without... Um, putting nitrogen onto their body that their kidney is going to have to deal with. Okay, and what I'm saying is Kempner didn't give his patients anything, amino acid supplements or the keto analogs, and they, they were doing very well. Kempner also showed his patients were in positive nitrogen balance. Okay, you could look at their blood albumin. If their blood albumin is maintained or going up, that's a very good sign. So the point is the needs for protein are much lower than is widely acknowledged. Jim Mitchell, you know, the PhD and, uh, guy from uh, Harvard who gave that lecture over at Wilhelm or Bukinga Clinic was also talking about the benefits of very low protein diets. People live longer. Animals live longer with the low protein diets. Okay, but I, I mentioned this because Gregor is of a crowd where they're often recommending high protein. So that's interesting. That's relevant. Papua New Guinea was only, we're eating 93% of their calories from sweet potatoes, which only has 4.5% of calories from protein, and they were strong, energetic, and fit. It's a pretty minimal amount of protein. I've mentioned the Golden Study before. They fed uh, starving patients and sort of brought them back to fitness at 2.5% of calories from protein. So the needs for protein are much, much, much lower. There's also that guy from Stanford. I think his name is Christopher Gardner, and he talks about how people really need much less protein, and they need less than this RDA level of 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. Um, Jeff Nelson over at VegSource had a very good lecture recently where he's talking about protein needs. I'll try to put a link to that. I'll put a link to Dr. Gregor's in the description below. Um, Nephrology and nutrition experts, like I said, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you you're probably going to need EEA or, or the keto analogs, but Kempner didn't. So you'd have to go by the individual patient. You could check their nitrogen balance. You could check their serum albumin. But the overall point is old people don't need to go looking for protein powders. Oh, Gregor also recommended creatine, but I don't recommend creatine. There's problems with it, in, in my opinion, as I discussed. I made a video about that previously before. Anyways, I hope you find this helpful.